Alright guys, a few years ago when I finished making this decking, I had some of these pieces of wood left over and I had a piece of plywood in my garage. So I decided I'm going to make myself a little table to put my beers on while I'm sitting on my decking outside in the sunshine over the summer. That was five years ago and this table, it's still pretty solid, even though it sits outside no matter what the weather. Sun, wind, rain, snow, well, maybe not snow, but you get the gist. It's been a good table. And this year, when I got it out my garage ready for this summer, I noticed some telltale signs of age. Some of the ply is starting to lift and cracks are starting to appear around the edges. So I decided, because I like this table and I want to keep using it outside over the summer, I'm going to give it a little bit of a restoration with a difference. What I'm going to try and do is make a world map out of wood and I'm going to glue all the pieces to the surface of the table and then I'm going to give it a layer of epoxy resin which will make it waterproof and smooth. But there's a lot of fine detail in a world map so just to make it easier for myself I've decided to base my table on the popular board game, Risk. Let's get making. I've got myself a piece of paper and I've cut it to the same size and shape as the table top. And then I got myself a map of the world and what I'm going to do now is trace around the continents and then I can position them on my paper and adjust the size of them if necessary. So that's all the continents drawn. All I have to do now is rearrange them onto my table and adjust the size if need be. Once I've finished positioning all the continents onto the table, I realise there's quite a difference between the world map and the game board. So I've had to adjust a few things just to make it look better. I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out. So now I think I can get on with the next stage, which is cutting all the continents and making them out of wood. And the first one I'm going to make is Australia. <laughs> I'm making Australia out of walnut. First of all I glue a few pieces together and then I clamp it all up and once the glue's dry I can start cutting out the shape. And the first thing I have to do is to make sure that the front and the back are reasonably flat. Well there's the first uh, continent finished, Australia with Tasmania and New Zealand although that's not on the map, on the risk map that is, <laughs> and uh, Indonesia and New Guinea. 
I'm not quite sure of the positions yet. I'll have to look on the map. Because when I cut them out, I moved everything. So I'll do that later. But for now, that's the first one completed. And now the next continent I'm going to make, North America. Same as before, we glue all the pieces together and then put some clamps on and clamp it up on a flat surface. And once that's done, we can grind it and sand it so it's the right thickness and it's nice and smooth. I'm going to sand it using this now, but before I do, I've got to put some new, um, some new sandpaper on. And the first thing I do when I put sandpaper on is put some plastic tape on the back of the paper and then again some more where it folds and what this does it reinforces the back of the sandpaper and it makes it last about 10 times longer Now we just have to stick the map on and cut round it. And to finish off the North American mainland, I just have to paint the division lines and fill in the lakes. Well, that's North America finished. All I have to do now is wait for the paint to dry and then I can sand it all up. So while I'm waiting, I've got to make the other continents. I'm going to make South America. Africa. Europe. And the biggest one of all, Asia. And once they're all done, I've got to stick them to my tabletop and then I've got to cover everything with epoxy resin. Now I've never done that before, so if I get that bit wrong, it means I've done all this for nothing. If you want to see how it turns out, you're going to have to watch my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time.